This meditation is for energizing and balancing our chakras. Our physical body is connected to this physical world, this earthly plane, through our five physical senses. These are the mechanisms through which we are able to experience this physical world. We see, we hear, we touch or feel, we taste, we smell. We cease to do any of these when we transit back to spirit at the end of each lifetime, because these are merely physical attributes appertaining to and belonging to our physical body only. But we are not just a physical body. We are spiritual beings, temporarily embodied, having a short physical experience for the duration of this lifetime. And how are we connected to all things spiritual? We are connected to all things spiritual through our chakra system. We have seven chakras, aligned vertically from the base of our spine to the crown of our head, spinning and rotating, each a different colour, reflecting the seven colours of the rainbow, and each drawing in energy from the great universal energy field, the great universal consciousness we call God. This alignment of our seven chakras along our spine reflects our upward spiritual development. As we raise our consciousness from our base need for survival, from our base chakra, to our connection to spirit, through our crown chakra. Each chakra functions as a vortex, continually in motion, drawing cosmic energy into the inner levels of consciousness. Hence, they can best be described as the gateways of consciousness. When the flow of energy in any chakra is interrupted, that particular chakra becomes blocked and illness or pain will manifest in the physical body as a result. In esoteric literature, the chakras are often symbolised by the unfolding petals of the lotus flower, which is sacred in India. Our chakras are not just seven individual spinning wheels, but each chakra is made up of more intricate smaller cogs, petals, with our crown chakra having a lot more in number than our base chakra. Also, the rate at which our chakras vibrate differs. The rate at which our four upper chakras vibrate is faster relative to the rate at which our three lower chakras vibrate simply because our four upper chakras, being our closer connection to spirit, are on a higher frequency vibration than our three lower chakras, which are our earth chakras. As well as the seven main chakras, we also have minor chakras or energy centers, for example, in the palm of each hand and in each ear. It is through the palm chakras that the healing energy flows through to the receiver from the holistic practitioner. In order to operate fully and keep us healthy, our chakras need to be constantly energized and balanced. And we are now ready to begin a very simple meditation in which we will do this. Sit quietly, close your eyes. Relax your body. Concentrate on your breathing in order to connect with the great universal energy. Ground yourself. Visualize roots like the roots of trees extending downwards into the earth from the soles of your feet. Feel yourself very firmly and solidly held in Mother Earth. Now protecting. We draw the white light of Holy Spirit around each one of us. We invoke the blue cloak of Archangel Michael to cover us completely and we place ourselves within the centre 
of the six-pointed star. Starting with your base chakra, located at the base of your spine, your earth chakra. When this chakra is balanced, you are grounded. You feel safe and secure. You are comfortable in your own skin. You are physically healthy. When this base chakra is blocked, you feel anxious, fearful, restless. When this chakra is overstimulated, you feel sluggish, heavy, greedy, resistant to change, fixated with material things. So let us now balance and energize this base chakra. Imagine it as a tiny bud, a tiny sparkling jewel, opening out into a beautiful red flower as you draw the white light down into it. Watch this beautiful red flower rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. Now move to your sacral chakra, just below your belly button. When this chakra is balanced, you are able to embrace change. You are nurturing of yourself and others. You have healthy boundaries and you are able to enjoy pleasure. When this chakra is blocked, you fear change. You are emotionally numb. You are rigid in your beliefs and behavior. You suffer from lack of desire and excitement. When this chakra is overstimulated, you have obsessive attachments, excessive mood swings, emotional dependency, poor boundaries, and a need to get attention. Let us now energize and balance this sacral chakra. Imagine it as a tiny bud, a tiny sparkling jewel, opening out into a beautiful orange flower as you draw the white light into it. See this beautiful orange chakra rotate in balance with your red chakra. Now to your solar plexus, located just above your belly button. This chakra is sometimes referred to as the human rubbish dump, because this is where you feel all the upsets and the negative emotions. When this chakra is balanced, you are reliable, responsible, confident, energetic, spontaneous, and able to take risks. When this chakra is blocked, you lack energy, you have low self-esteem, you lack confidence. You have a tendency towards submission and to blame others. When this solar plexus is overstimulated, you are controlling, dominating, arrogant, competitive, stubborn. Let us now energize and balance this solar plexus chakra. See it as a tiny bud, a tiny sparkling jewel, opening out into a beautiful yellow flower as you draw the white light into it. And see it rotating at the same rate as your orange and red chakras, your lower chakras, your earth chakras. Next, to your heart chakra. When this chakra is in balance, you are caring, compassionate, self-loving, peaceful, centered, content. When this heart chakra is blocked, you are antisocial, withdrawn, intolerant, critical, lonely. 
When this heart chakra is overstimulated, you are being a martyr. You are being a pleaser. You are jealous and focusing too much on others. Let us now energize and balance this heart chakra. See your heart chakra as a tiny bud, a tiny sparkling jewel, and feel it opening out into a beautiful pink and green flower as you draw the white light down into it. See this green and pink chakra rotating at a more rapid pace than your three lower chakras. Now to your throat chakra, your communication chakra. When this chakra is balanced, you are speaking your truth. You are communicating honestly and truthfully with others. You are living your life as you are meant to live it. When this throat chakra is blocked, you have difficulty expressing yourself. You are keeping quiet in order to keep the peace. You are not speaking your truth. You are secretive. When this throat chakra is overstimulated, you are gossiping, talking too much. You are unable to keep a confidence. Now let us energize and balance this throat chakra. See your throat chakra, your blue chakra, as a tiny little bud, a tiny sparkling jewel, opening out into a beautiful blue flower as you draw the white light into it. See it rotating faster than your pink and green heart chakra. Now to your third eye chakra in the middle of your forehead. This is your clairvoyant chakra. When this chakra is balanced, you have strong intuition, penetrating insight, creative imagination, good memory, and the ability to visualize. When this chakra is blocked, you have difficulty visualizing. You are unable to see alternatives or what is really going on. You are insensitive and skeptical. When this chakra is overstimulated, you suffer from hallucinations and delusions, obsessions, nightmares, excessive fantasizing. Now let us energize and balance this third eye chakra. See your third eye chakra, a tiny little bud, a tiny little sparkling jewel, opening out into a beautiful indigo colored flower as you draw the white light down into it. And see this beautiful indigo chakra rotating at a faster speed than your blue throat chakra. Finally, your crown chakra, your deepest connection to spirit. When this chakra is balanced, you have a strong spiritual connection, great wisdom, the ability to question. You are open-minded and able to easily assimilate and analyze information. When this chakra is blocked, you are spiritually cynical, you have a closed mind, you have rigid belief systems. When this chakra is overstimulated, you are confused, you are disconnected from spirit, you have excessive attachments. Now let us energize and balance this crown chakra. See it as a tiny little bud, a tiny little sparkling jewel, opening out into a magnificent violet flower as you draw the white light down into it. See this beautiful 
violet chakra rotating faster than your other chakras. Now visualize all your chakras rotating, your three lower chakras, your red, orange and yellow chakras, all rotating at the same speed. And your four upper chakras, all rotating faster. Your pink and green heart chakra, rotating faster than your lower chakras. Then your blue throat chakra, rotating faster than your heart chakra. Then your indigo third eye chakra, rotating faster again. And finally, your violet crown chakra, rotating the fastest of all. Spend time visualizing this exquisite beauty of all your seven chakras, all the seven colors, rotating in the white light of spirit. When you are ready, begin to close your chakras down again, beginning with your crown chakra. See the purple flower at the crown of your head, return to its bud state again and seal it. Now see your third eye chakra, the indigo flower, Return to its bud state again and seal it. Now your throat chakra, the blue flower, see it return to its bud state and seal it. Now your heart chakra, the pink and green flower, see it return to its bud state again and seal it. Now your solar plexus, the yellow flower. See this return to its bud state again and seal it. Now see your sacral chakra, the orange flower, return to its bud state and seal it. Finally, see your base chakra, the red rotating flower, return to its bud state and seal it. When you are ready, open your eyes, shake out your hands and feet and come back into the room. Feel yourself energized and refreshed. Feel the deeper connection you now have to all that is through energizing and balancing your chakras. Namaste.